everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Today, I'm going to be attempting yet again to add bright flashing lights to my setup in the form of a VU meter. And this one promises to be sort of unique from the others due to its build quality and hopefully its capability set as well. Anyway, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> Some time ago, I picked up this thing. This is a super cheap, it was like, I think I got it at five below for five or below. It's literally just a, an LED bar um, that lights up in different patterns and things. As it listens to the music, there's no audio input. It's just got a simple microphone input on the back, a power switch, a mode switch, five volt USB micro. Also surprised how many people in the comments were talking about this guy right here and how they would never have a USB micro device in this day and age. When while I like USB-C as well, I don't know if I would you know, exclude my interest uh, in a device simply because of the plug type. In fact, the other day I was trying to find an old school uh, USB connection for an old camera. Anyway, I wanted to um, talk about this in the context of this, which is essentially a higher end version of this. And in order to do that, I wanted to evoke this thing again. Oh, the poor HYM duo. It did not have a lot of friendly comments about it. It's it's a weird device. I do agree with that. It's still fun though. I think it's fun. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can get this thing going again. Uh, it does take a second to pair to itself. It's a Bluetooth speaker with a record player. Somebody asked, there was a couple of questions. I might as well use this opportunity as a follow-up. Um, somebody asked, can you pair the Bluetooth of the turntable with a different speaker or headphones? Possible. I'm not 100% sure about that. It's sort of designed to pair to itself. We, we talked about how the speaker, which comes out, can be paired with you know your phone or another device. And then even though it plugs in down here, that's for power only. There's no physical connection from the stylus to that speaker. It's still a Bluetooth transmission. The other thing somebody mentioned was that the instability we saw of the record may be solved with this. Now, I didn't think of that initially uh, because, you know, this doesn't screw on as far as I can tell. And it doesn't even fit snugly. So I don't think that that would do anything. That being said, the picture did show it that way. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, use it that way. This record looks really, really cool. This Finley's Heroes Oakland A's record with a big hair right there on the edge. Did you just touch the record surface? Don't you know anything about records? Uh, the whole reason why I even have this thing out here and for this is so we can have something to listen to to uh, demonstrate this, but more importantly, this. So let me start by showing the basic one first. Again, super cheap less than five bucks but keep in mind the proportions and the basic functionality of this and the presence of a base and i don't even know if they provided a usb cord for this one or not but again micro usb sorry for those people that get so offended by connectors but that is indeed an older style you provide the brick i've got an anchor brick here this is a variable uh, output because it can be used with high speed uh, charging. And I'm gonna put it there. And then there's a button on the back here that says power. So that's a good place to start. And you can see it's beautiful. It's even more vibrant, you know, to the naked eye than it is, you know, on camera. The camera has a tendency to wash it out, but um, it defaults to this cycling mode, which is responsive to sound. If I make a loud sound, it speeds up the cycle. So if it's loud, the louder it gets, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if I press the mode switch, we get a couple of options here where we pulsate. Um, let's see, with test, test, one. This is a more typical problem is, and this is very typical with these, especially the cheaper ones, is it takes a heck of a lot of sound to register anything, which is why my, my ambient speaking voice, and there's a microphone in the back. That's how it's hearing things isn't loud enough. I'm talking loud enough. I know nobody will tell you, nobody that knows me will tell you that I don't talk loud enough. So even if I make an absurdly loud sound down by the mic, it barely registers. So 
Uh, switching through the modes here, you can have it come from the top down instead, testing one, two, three. You can have it come from the middle. You can have it come from the edges on both sides. I don't know what this one does. That's kind of interesting. So it shows the, the peak and then descends the peak and decay. And then I think we're back to this mode. So that's pretty much it. And if you put that right by your speaker, you could probably get a little bit of visual enjoyment out of it. It would be really nice if there was an adjustment to it. Obviously, this is purely for looks. There's no metering capability. You're not going to count. This isn't calibrated to any sort of level even more so than using the mic on the other one that we looked at with the switch built in. But because the new thing that we're looking at, I believe is similar to this, I wanted to kind of start off with this as a baseline. So let's uh, put it back into this mode right here. And I'm going to turn on this record player. And Finley's heroes included pitching stars such as Catfish Hunter. The Catfish Hunter one out away from winning number 20, a mark that he says means more to him than pitching the perfect game. Get four at the plate. Here's the pitch from Hunter. It's a slider breaking low and away. Swung on. That's a ball. Fast forward to fairly recently, and I got this thing in the mail. Now, keep in mind that I get contacted almost nightly from companies that say, hey, we've got this product. Check it out. And sometimes they're like way off base. Like I've gotten offers for kitchen, you know, utensils and um, uh, shelving and garage lighting. And it's like, do you, I'm a huge fan of your channel. Would you check out our, you know, garage light? Well, you're not a huge fan if you think we review garage lights. Um, but, you know, if it's audio related, if it's applicable, if it's something I think you guys would be interested, sometimes I'll go for it. And then sometimes I'll forget about it, especially if it's shipping from China. And uh, then it arrives, I'm like, what the heck? And I don't even remember this. So... Apparently, somewhere down the line, I was contacted to review this, and it says on here, 16-bit M aluminum case. So that sounds to me like it's a microphone. But when I opened it, like in pure like confusion, like what is this thing? I saw this, and it talks about basically setting an LED uh, level indicator as the USB. Is this one a C, or is this a micro? Let's see. That's a micro as well. And then this device. So let's unwrap it and take a look. And sure enough, it looks awful familiar, doesn't it? With the exception that this thing is heavy. This is very heavy. It's metal, apparently aluminum. But yeah, we've got a microphone right there. We've got a, a USB micro, an up and a down button, and then what looks to be a very similar display to this. And not only that, it looks to be <laughs> the same exact dimension as that. So. It begs the question, is it the same device in a different case? I mean, the buttons are in a slight different alignment, but that's not you know, necessarily hard to do. The other dimensions seem to be identical. This feels like quality. Also feels like there's a film on the, on the screen, not a screen, is it a screen display? So I'm gonna try and peel that off there. Okay, let's start by looking at it up close here. So uh, you'll see it's a five volt power supply. This is by AK Technology. The microphone AKDB16L mic. Okay, we've got a QR code there and an up and down button. It may seem very simple, not unlike this, which might as well look at the back of this since we have it up close and focused here. But this, according to its instruction document, is fully featured, albeit it's another 16 segment light you can it has a, a background noise filter it's got different steps of gain it's got a delay effect and all kinds of different features apparently can be adjusted painstakingly i'm going to venture out and say because there's only two buttons via these it also mentions software um which i think it's talking about it's in, internal software and the, this and they make special note of the fact that that software is copywritten so yeah, the fact that it shares the dimension, that's the last time we're going to look at this, the dimension of the other unit, I'm guessing I can just plug it into this base. Otherwise, I don't know what you would do with it. I mean, I guess you could just stand it up on its own, but it would be fairly precarious because it's rounded and not just squared off. You could put it down sideways like that, I suppose. But the base is a good feature, right? And that came with the old one. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. Okay, that's cool. 
and up and down. So if I go down, down again, so far we're all blue. That's kind of a cool one. Okay. Interesting. So far we're still blue. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of different, come on now. What if I get up? Does it just scroll? Okay, I wanna show you some of these features. So it says if I double click, it turns on or off the ambient noise filter. So double clicking and it goes through, it looks like a boot up. And then it is now ambiently filtering or not, depending on which one you're at. Hard to tell without knowing where you started from. Not only can you click it for one second or five seconds, or even hold it down for 10 seconds, but you can double click, three click, four click, five, and even six click to do things like uh, the recognition will be after a few seconds of being quiet, the sensitivity mode, uh, adjust the brightness of the light bar, low, medium, or high. Yeah, I mean, they fit a lot of features into those two buttons. I'll say a little prayer out there, I'll say a lot. Mine are sneaking up okay. behind you, you got Catfish Hunter behind you, I've got John Oda wanting to talk to Catfish first. All right, Jim Hunter, you went in in relief today, you've done a fantastic job through the playoffs and the series, and great pressure pitching, you've got to be a happy man right now. I have money, I think I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Was the pressure anything today like it was in the Detroit series to you? I think it was more today. Uh, you know, there's so much riding on and everything. And today I went out there, I didn't have real good stuff, but I made uh, some pitches that they should hit out the ballpark, but luckily they didn't. Jim, it seemed as though you were a little nervous for the first time I could ever remember when you came in. You had a little control problem, even made a wild pitch. That's right, Monty. You know, when you come out like you got to make the pitch. And I was just a little bit nervous, but we won. That's all that counts. Nice going, Catfish. Thank you very much. Yeah. The magical, mystical A's were an inspired blend of baseball talent, honed to a fevered pitch by the mustachioed maestro of big league managers, Dick Williams. So I'm a little surprised the thing doesn't have multiple colors. It seems like that's literally it. It's blue and a couple shades of that same blue, which looks more washed out, like I said, on camera than it does to the naked eye. Um, and th there's a heck of a lot of settings to adjust sensitivities, delays, the noise canceling capability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the end of the day, it's a fairly simple device to flash light to sound. Nothing. All right, my friend, and that's going to do it. You know, I mean, it is cool. I wish it had other colors. I mean, it should have other colors. Why can't it have other colors besides blue? I looked through some of the other reviews. It looks like everybody agrees it does blue. Uh, but how about other colors? How about the full spectrum of colors? Why not? I, I think it's cool. $35, it's... Uh, I don't know if it, it justifies that cost unless it's exactly is what you're looking for and you like blue so much. That being said, I think it was interesting. I appreciate the opportunity to review it. I'll hang on to it. I'll think of something interesting to do with it. Uh, but mostly, I just want to get your opinions on what you guys think. Speaking of you guys, I wanted to let you know that we have a new exclusive 45 adapter color coming your way. And I'm not going to announce it just yet because it's going to be a very, very unique attempt at a color iteration. Also, I wanted to let you know that progress is being made with our Seaberg adapter, and I hope to have the prototypes ready to show you soon, and a, hopefully a product that's available for prime time that we could put on sale in the next you know, weeks and maybe a couple of months on, the, on that. Uh, the 45 adapter new color should be coming in the next week or two, hopefully. Uh, the PLA has been selected and ordered. Our vendor is aligned and hopefully the product will meet our standards because we wanna make sure it's a good and interesting product for you. But mostly, I just wanna say thank you for being there. Thank you for your support and for watching. But that's gonna do it for today. So happy right
record hunting, and we'll see you next time.